Hey, this is Charles Lewis. Hello, Todd Lewis here. We're both coming to you from Charles Lewis Photography in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and welcome to this week's photography money-making video. Where yeah. we'll give you some tips on your marketing for your photography business and helping you to reach your goals through some motivational techniques and tips and secrets that you can start implementing immediately as you go through this week in your photography business. We're excited to be here. How are you doing, Dad? Hey, doing terrific. Glad to be here. All right. Well, I'm glad to have you here. And uh, incidentally, we're recording this here on Father's Day. Um, yeah. So happy Father's Day, Father. <laughs> oh, thank you, Todd. You're, you're welcome. I'm thrilled to be doing this with you on Father's Day and uh, getting to work with you every day. It's a, a wonderful thing. So hopefully other people out there that work with family are uh, enjoying it and getting a lot out of it. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of benefits. It can be challenging sometimes. You know, whenever you're working with anybody else, there can be challenges yep. and disagreements and so forth. But, uh, you know, working with family members, we, we take that very seriously. It's a wonderful gift that we have here. So yeah. uh, let's jump right in here to our first section, our motivating quote of the week. Uh, this week, we have a quote from a writer that I happen to really admire named Ralph Waldo Emerson, who said, quote, to laugh often and much to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to leave the world a better place, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Oh, I really love that quote. Um, a man who is extremely eloquent, far more eloquent than I can ever hope to be. And that sums up so much <laughs> of what uh, we are about here because while we're always striving to be the best that we can be both personally and in our businesses, it's important to remember that we truly do want to help others be successful as well. You bet. In fact, for me, for both Todd and I, this has been a major driving force in our lives. This is what gets us up in the morning and keep, keeps us motivated every single day. It's just what we're all about is helping other photographers achieve their dreams and their goals and uh, their objectives. I mean, there's so many things that are necessary in order to make a successful photography business and we're all about helping other photographers achieve that. Seek out ways to help those you care about and even people you don't personally know to have better lives. There are a few things in this life that are more rewarding, whether it's your family, your friends, you know, it doesn't have, you know, other photographers. Believe me, there's enough business to go around out there that we can all help each other uh, as well. It's really, really rewarding and will make you enjoy your life that much more. Yeah, we're all in this together as photographers and as people. So thank you again to Ralph Waldo Emerson for that wonderful quote. Keep that in mind throughout this week and well beyond, <laughs> not just this week. <laughs> uh, motivational exercise for the week, something to kind of keep you energized and excited in your photography business as you go through your week and potentially meet some challenges that you have to deal with and so forth, which are inevitable. First of all, you know, make a list of people you admire and then research the challenges that they overcame to become a success. Success makes you earn it. All right. Even people we look up to and admire, they had to overcome great adversity as well to get to where they want to be. You're not going to be any different. They're not any different. It is Success is going to make you earn it. So it's always helpful to make a list of the people you admire and understand that they went through challenges as well. Listing the challenges that have been overcome by those you admire will help to stress that it's those who keep trying keep forging forward despite setbacks and heartbreak they are the ones who will make it and you will too keep a list of these things so you can go back to them whenever you're feeling like you can't go forward again this is a way to keep yourself motivated understanding that you're not alone understanding that the people that you look up to uh, have also had challenges in their lives it makes you understand that you know hey if they could get through it I can too, and they persevered, I'm going to persevere as well. I know of no single great success that came without overcoming major challenges. Success is no accident, and it's not always easy, but it is achievable if you don't let anything get in your way. One of my favorite sayings that I say to myself every single day 
is a step at a time with a one step at a time with a goal in mind. In other words, I'm heading in a direction and it's going to take many, many steps and maybe I can take one of those steps today to help me get where I want to go. It's it's a it's a journey and it's challenging and it's that's what life is. Life is not just a simple little breezy thing that you float through with rose-colored glasses on. All right, let's move on now to our um, fast action marketing tip of the week, something to do very quickly to improve the effectiveness of the marketing you're already doing or to implement into your new marketing as you're creating it for your business. Are you telling stories? Now, uh, we have always said and firmly believe that stories sell and facts only tell. You know, you want to tell stories in your marketing and in your meetings with people one on one because that's what we respond to as human beings. Stories have been told throughout history for, since the beginning of recorded and communicated time, okay? Uh, <laughs> because stories are fascinating to people. Stories draw people in. They make them connect on an emotional level. Whereas just giving them the facts about your business, the facts about yourself, that just tells them stuff, but it doesn't get them hooked on an emotional level. This is one of the best ways to build trust and rapport, both in person and in your marketing, both online and offline. Which is what marketing is. Marketing is basically salesmanship in print. Yep. And salesmanship, good salesmanship, is building a rapport, building trust. And now one thing we want to tell you is always tell true stories. Never make anything up. We are not proponents of dishonesty at all. If you can't be truthful and honest in your business, then do something else with your life. That's our belief, okay? And that comes that also comes with, from the stories that you tell. Don't make up stories because they sound fascinating or you think it's going to make people people uh, you know attached to you better or build a better rapport if you think about it there are stories that you can tell they don't have to be massive long stories they don't have to be epics they don't have to be you know um, um, the odyssey you know it's a, just <laughs> you know little stories about why you got into the photography business things like that but always make sure they're true don't make them up yeah you start a list of great emotional stories that you can tell to potential clients so just a short list a couple of words for each of the stories that will remind you of the stories. Keeping a journal also is a great way to log and recall little things that happen to you that can make a wonderful list of true emotional stories to build honest rapport with your potential clients. You know, as things happen to you throughout your photographic day and just through your personal day. They don't always have to be photographic stories. They can be things that have happened to you that reminded you of the importance of, of having photographs around. We have dozens of stories that have, true stories that have happened to us over the years that we can call on at any moment. You have those too. You just have to remember them. Think back on them. Yeah, and this is a real key to our success. I have done this for years and years because we know that people invest in photography for emotional reasons, not logical reasons. And people can relate to emotional stories. It's just really a crucial part of our success in the photography business. Now, if you're one of our Inner Circle members, click on the link below for a full-length video program on how to use stories to sell photography like never before. So there you go. Start telling stories and watch right your, your business improve because it would become a storyteller. It's yep. time for our goals and planning section of this video. Take a look at your goals, your progress, and your planning for the upcoming week. So we want you to pause the video while you do all three of these steps. Very important that you do them. We say this on every video. It's because it's very, very important. So pause the video while you do this section. We'll be waiting for you when you get done. Right on. Welcome back. You pushed play. That means you did those three steps, and we're very, very proud of you. Keep up that good work. It's time for our final thoughts for the week here. Some thoughts to keep in mind uh, at the end of this video and to keep you going. Don't let this video be the high point of your week, okay? That's not the goal <laughs> with our videos. We want it to get you started off properly, but then it's up to you to keep that momentum going. So here's some final thoughts. Photographers are succeeding right now, and they are doing very well. Yeah, there are plenty of photographers who are struggling. Yes, these are challenging times, but we don't want to focus on that. 
Stay focused on the people who are succeeding and model what they are doing. We are both here to help you do exactly that. We'll keep bringing you the best of the best of what's working in the photography industry right now. We love doing that. We're excited to be doing that. Uh, please keep your comments, questions, thoughts coming by uh, you know, sending us uh, emails, clicking on uh, the links to send us questions and comments. You have a wonderful week, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.